Hello everyone and welcome back. So you can see here in our previous session we have done the DFS traversal with the help of iterative method. So in this session we are going to do the DFS traversal with the help of recursion. So let us take the same graph and proceed with the recursive approach. So you can see here in this iterative method we have used one stack data structure in which we have used push and pop operation and I have explained you the logic. Now here we will do the same thing. Now here also in recursion if we are standing on any node our very first task is to print that value. So we will simply print that value 10. Now we have option to go either for 20 or 40 or 30 or 50. And in DFS we know if we are selecting any path like suppose this direction then we have to cover each and every node which are coming in this direction. So here we have option either we have to go with 20, 40, 30 or 50. So for example here let us choose 50, 60, 70 path which is the longest one. Now you can see here this 10 is connected to 20, 30, 40 and 50. So what we will do here is we have to pass these nodes one by one. So we will simply use on for loop to get the value and call the function recursively by passing this value and this process will be repeated recursively. So let me write the code and I will explain you line by line how the things are working. So this is our graph and let me write here code def dfs and here rec. Again here you have to pass the graph and the and the start position. We will write our logic here. This is our graph. And here we will call this one DFS underscore recursively and pass the graph and the start node. Start is our 10. So this is done. Now let us go to the main thing. Whenever we are getting any value, our very first task is to print that one. So what we will do, we will simply print that one. Print start. Okay. So when we printed this start, our next thing is, so suppose this start was 10. Now its connected nodes are 20, 30, 40 and 50. So what we will do, we will use one for loop for while in graph graph of this start means for this key 10 take all this value one by one and one by one please call dfs underscore this rec recursive function and pass this graph and the value and the value. So what will happen here is first 20 will be passed in the val so it will go in DFS REC function and print the value 20. So 20 will be printed. Now for this 20 we are going to call its connected nodes. So currently 20 is connected to nothing so nothing will happen. Again still we are in our first call in a recursive method. So 30 will be called so again for 30 nothing is present but 30 will be printed. Similarly 40 then 50. So for 50 you can see there is a connection. So 50 will be printed and again we will go for the 60. Again 60 will be printed we will go for 70 and for 70 nothing is present so it will come out. So this will work. So this is our recursive call and what will be the base condition. So base condition will be when means if the length of graph graph of this start is equal to 0. If it is 0 we will simply return. return. So for example you can see here for this 20 when we will go with the for loop it will simply return an empty list. Again for 30 an empty list. Again 40 empty list. So for the key it will simply print the value 
but for its value it is simply written so this is our base condition so let me run this code and see so you can see here the value got printed so first 10 20 30 40 then 50 60 and 70 so let me explain you how these things are working how this traversal is working let me explain you here in detail so this is our recursive function so the very first time here 10 will be given as our start so 10 will be printed correct next is if length of this graph start 10 equal to 0 no we already have for this 10 our value are 20 30 40 and 50 so this this length is not 0 so it will go in this for loop so in this for loop it is first going for the value 20 cause for value in graph of a start so in it will give a list of having value 20 30 40 and 50 so very first value 20 so for 20 again for 20 again this is being called make sense for this 20 from here the recursive call is called now again here first it will print the value 20 now for this 20 for this 20 you can see here the length is 0 so it will simply return so from here it will return from here it will return here okay but this values was let me write up so that it will be easy to understand so this for loop was for 20 30 40 and 50 so we were playing for 20 so 20 is over this for loop was for this one for 20 it is over for 20 it is over now next is 30 now next is 30 so for 30 again for 30 again there will be a recursive call so for this recursive call we have to print the statement so 30 will be printed first again if you see here for 30 the length is 0 the length is 0 again from here it will return so it will return now this 30 is over for this for loop we will go for 40 so again for this 40 this function again this function will be called for 40 so this 40 will be printed now you can see here for the length 40 so again for 40 we have empty the length is 0 so again from here the function will be written the control will be written to this only for the very first for loop in which we were playing with 20 30 40 now next is 50 so for 50 again this will be called for every call this recursive function was called so i am not writing this one or pasting this one i have just used this sample i have simply used this sample so now for 50 so first for 50 it will print from this line to 50 will be printed okay now 50 is printed here length for 50 if you see here for 50 we have 60 present over there okay the length is not zero so it will go here for the for loop so for 60 so currently we have in this list 60 only again one more time this recursive function will be called for this 60 okay so for this 60 everything will be written as it is let me paste that one now you can see here for 60 again for 60 it will first print the value so 60 will be printed here okay now again you can see here for 60 for 60 for 60 the length is not zero it is having value 70 so again here for 70 one more recursive call will be there 
for this value 70 one more recursive call for this for loop statement for this 70 for this 70 now in line number two we have to print the value so the value will be printed here 70 now for 70 you can see here it is empty means the length is zero so it will simply return from here so it will return to this one from where it was being called and from here it will return to this statement from where it was being called and from here it will simply return to this one and from here from here you can see here this list is over this for loop is over and our task is over so you can see here we have got the output 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 and which is similar to this one 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 so this is how recursion is working so if we give here the value like just give change the value here let us give 50 first and then 20 then 30 and then 40 and then 40 so what will happen it will first go for this 50 and print all these connected nodes with this 50 so you can see here see the value first 10 then 50 60 70 it's like it printed this 10 was connected with 20 30 40 here 50 60 and then 70 was there so for 10 we have given 50 first so 50 will be printed and this connected node is 60 so 60 and again connected node is 70 so 70 so you can see here the value 50 60 70 first and after that 20 30 and 40. so that's all about this dfs traversal using recursion so i hope you understood this simple logic and this explanation line by line so if you learn something new please do like our videos and subscribe to our channel coding card and stay tuned for the next video in the next video i will be explaining you dfs traversal again with the help of both iteration and recursion so stay tuned and thanks for watching